Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I wanted to show off this 1953 uh, Kirby vacuum cleaner I got from a pawn shop. I think it cost me 10 bucks, 8 bucks. I don't remember the exact number. He's getting rid of it and they didn't want it, so I bought it. Because I needed one for my bedroom. Um, when I got this thing, it was all dull and scuffed and scratched all over it and it had a sticker on top that said it was repaired i didn't want any of that on there so i tore the sticker off you see kind of the scratch marks that were left behind from it yeah you see them right there pretty i'm definitely sure this vacuum was refurbished or something so this is not a kirby bag it's like some weird knockoff bag it's got metal blades in it belt's in decent shape i don't have any other parts for it it's just this here's the headlight or whatever you call i don't know what you call it headlamp headlight the light i don't know it's a cool old vacuum cleaner i only re the only reason i bought this vacuum was because my dad actually has a kirby classic 3 and i know i like how that thing felt so i thought this would be a good purchase. Because if I like the other Kirby, I gotta like this one. And it's true, I, I kinda like this one. It's, it's a little different. But, hey, it's not too different. There's no bag collection. If I wanna empty the bag, I gotta un unzip it and dump it. Um, it's, it's got a height control right here. Seven six five four three two one zero. It's the height control right now. It's at seven, so I could easily move it around. Here's the on and off switch. You use your foot. It's a little heavy, not as heavy as the Kirby Classic Three. You do this. There's something. I don't think you can see it, but if I pull this tab. It or I push it. I don't remember. If I do something. This will lock it. The arm in place I'll keep it like that it's got a plug on it uh, a spring here for when it gets really heavy and whatnot I doubt it. it'll get that heavy in my time using it here's the cord and let me take off the uh, thing so we show it so like this It's a little hard to do with one hand, but it takes the front off. You see the inside. Oh, is this a stain or something? Or the sh that's probably a shadow. Maybe it's a shadow. Yeah, it's a shadow. It's got a, the, the fan spins this way and sucks all the crud in. I think it's a neat design for putting on a hose. And uh, or, whatever else the accessories are. I don't have the accessories. If I knew, I'd be able to better description. Um, yeah, let's see if I can get a good shot of the belt. There's the belt. Starting to, w w I don't know if that's too worn. Here's the inside. I cleaned it. It's filled with hair and stuff before. It's actually, I just vacuumed my bedroom with it, so. <clears throat> it's a little dirty. It's been a while. Um, back on one-handed real challenge set it here so you can see there you go turn the knob up top then you have a problem getting the knob on there you go you gotta wiggle it and then re-engage the belt belts back on it's ready for vacuum Yeah, let me undo the cord, fire it up. It's got this gray, gray handle on top. I think it's a little out of place. I think it is original though. I was trying to find pictures of it and it looked like the, uh, it looked, the pictures were from 1953, it looked just like it. So I just decided to trust it, let me plug it in. 
There's a spider web there. I don't really go on the side of my room because it's not done. The vacuum's plugged in. I should have put socks or shoes on because now I'm barefoot. All right, let's fire it up. Kind of loud. There's not really too much to vacuum. Fix that rug. Here, let me uh, raise it up a little bit, and then fire it up. So you can see it. I don't really want to run it too long because it just was running for like an hour. Yeah, that's it. If you enjoyed the video, like and whatnot. And subscribe, I guess. I'm probably not, I might post the Kirby Classic 3. I'm probably not going to get any more vacuums, though. This is probably the only one. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.